Hey YouTube, Levi here with Eastridge Outdoors. I wanted to do a quick video real quick. <laughs> a quick video real quick. I wanted to do a quick video today about this new knife from Holtzman Gorilla Survival. Uh, sort of an unboxing. It's not a real unboxing because I've already opened this. Um, couldn't wait. I had to check it out as soon as I got here. Uh, but I wanted to do this before I did anything to it. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, small changes I want to make. And so uh, before I did that, or before I did anything, even used it, I wanted to show you guys, you know, what it comes with. This is the Bushwhacker. The newest thing from Holtzman. Of course, you get their free gift if you buy it, you know, and uh, it's a thank you from them. You get your instructions on how to sharpen it and don't be dumb. Okay, and this is the knife. It is 11.2 inches. It has a 5.62 inch blade and a 5.59 inch handle. And then the rest of it, sorry, bumping the tripod there, uh, is in the pommel, I imagine, or exposed tang, whatever you want to call that. Okay, but before I show off that bad boy, let me show you the sheath that it come with. This is a piece of paracord that went in this spot. Um, this is the ferro rod that it comes with, and their ferro rods are awesome. Let me get this out of the way. That is a Allen wrench slash screwdriver so that you can mess with these attachments. You've got the scraper. Get out of the way. That's what the paracord was bound with. Um, the scraper, and there's this attachment that was mounted on the sheath for it. It locks in, just like the knife locks in, like Kydex. Uh, of course, this goes here. You got your shock cord. But I took the paracord off and put it on. The bottom here, uh, as a leg tie, to go with what I've done with this strap. Oh, and this is the awesome clip that it comes with. I love these things. Uh, it has two inserts, but I wear a very large belt, two inch belt, so I took them out. Uh, but that way you can adjust it, you know, to the thickness or width, I guess you would say, of your belt. Okay, but I took that off because I like to use the back of my knife to scrape my ferro rods. And so instead of that, I have added, well, I took this off because it's removable. That attaches here. And that is a retaining strap for the knife. But it's got great retention and I don't like retaining straps. And so I took it off, I added some rubber grommets or rubber washers, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, which if I would, I probably could have used this because it's shorter than this one is. But I needed to fill that gap from the holster. Sorry about the focusing. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, so I put this back together, and then I've added this rubber gasket ring. I don't know what this is. I don't know where I got it, where it came from. It's been bouncing in my toolbox of you know random crap that so anyway i got it out and i slide it around this oh, man it's tricky on camera and then i have a dangler of course that goes on my belt you know and that's why i did that so that i could have a dangler attachment you know winter's coming up been wearing some coats lately uh with some long sleeve shirts and whatnot so that gives it you know a little better access and this is just so that it doesn't bang around uh i don't know if you've ever worn one on a dangler but it'll it'll bang up against your leg and you'll think something's got you you know you've run into something or something's running to you but anyway that's just to prevent that to keep it kind of stable and the change i wanted to make before i showed this 
or before I did anything to this knife, that's why I did this video, is I wanted to add a bow drill divot. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to do it here or here. Both of these are fine because they're both exposed when this knife is in here. Man, this is weird on camera. It's such an odd depth perception thing. Okay, but you see it's no rattle, not going anywhere. It's great. So that's why I did that. But I could put bow drill divot there or there on each side. And uh, it would still work with this sheath as it is so that I wouldn't have to take the knife out. But I haven't decided where exactly. You never know, I might do both. Uh, it's got G10 scales, removable, as you can see. It's got the Torx bit screws. <laughs> and uh, the only thing I really see that I'm not real fond of is this, that they're not flush. Uh, I may be able to tighten them, I don't know, I haven't tried. I haven't messed with it. Uh, but they are removable, obviously. I don't know if this is skeletonized, I doubt it, but, cause this is a heavy duty, this is a heavy knife, man. Uh, I don't know exactly what it weighs. When I do a full review of this, which I will do after I use it, uh, I'll give you the weight. But it's four millimeters thick, or point one six of an inch. Uh, it's got the jimping, it's got the black coating, it's D2 steel, uh, hence the coating. We'll see if it gets rust spots or anything. Some D2, you know, it's a semi-stainless, so some of it tends to get rust on it, some of it don't. This was covered in plastic and heavily oiled, so I took it off, cleaned it off, uh, put my own little light coating of oil on it, and there it is but it's really nice. You can see these G10 scales are nicely done. Everything is, the fit and finish is amazing on this thing. Uh, but I wanted to show it off. The new Bushwhacker uh, it took me forever. I know he knows, he names his knives over there at Holtzman's. So uh, it took me a while to figure out what this thing was called. Lots of uh, Amazon scrolling of pages and stuff, but I found it on his website. It was super easy. I should have went there first. Uh, which is Holtzman's Gorilla Survival .com. Check them out. Great knife. Everything I've gotten from them has been great. Uh, but I'm going to put this through some heavy use. And, uh, you know, this is a big, heavy-duty knife. So I'm going to beat the crap out of this thing and see how it does. And then I've got a couple of uh, other knives that I want to do a, kind of a comparison side by side if you will just to show different sizes and uh uses and see what you know each one holds up to but i appreciate you guys sticking around watching this video uh sorry about the rambling this is actually longer than i really wanted it to be but definitely check out this guy this holtzman holtzman's gorilla survival awesome family-owned company really nice guy and man, his knives are amazing so far. Everything I've gotten from him, it comes razor. I mean, shaving sharp out of the box. I didn't bring any paper to slice, but when I tell you it's sharp, I mean, it, it's sharp. And uh, everything he put, you know, that you get from them, it's, it's sharp, stupid sharp. But that's how I like it, stupid sharp. So check it out. And I look forward to beating the crap out of this and seeing what it can take. And uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, but it'd be weird because you're still here and it's the end of the video. And I've told myself I was gonna start doing this earlier, but uh, old habits, I guess. Uh, but thanks guys for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel, you know, check out my other videos. I got all kinds of stuff on there. Well, not, not all kinds of stuff. But I've got some other stuff kind of like this and some stuff that's not like this. And uh, check it out. You know, it's all about, you know, having a good time out in the wilderness on a budget. Because it doesn't have to cost an arm or leg. It shouldn't. And everybody thinks that, you know, and in a sense, you do get what you pay for. But at the same time, there's some fabulous deals out there. There's some stuff out there that you know nobody knows about and stuff that everybody knows about but do your research check it out uh 
I appreciate y'all watching. And if you didn't stay to the end, screw you. You're not here to hear it. I'm out.